Hi everyone! So today on a really nice Sunday, um, it's sunny enough, not too sunny, but it's very warm. I am here doing the carpool sale and today I'm in correct tool. I'm trying to do that like every Sunday, unless when it's Sometimes I don't when it's raining because like there's no point ruining my stock and everything when it's raining But yeah, I have a really great day actually. I just saw a few customers that um, I had not seen for a very very long time and Also, there was a woman here that uh, Was looking for oriflame like long long time and couldn't find any uh, sellers so we exchanged contacts and probably she will end up joining up herself because she's used their stuff for like 35 years and now she can't find a seller anywhere and because she's not living in my area it would be just much handier for her to join up herself and of course that way she gets the nice discount and I get another team member so overall very very nice and happy day that's my stuff by the way I have lots of stuff here accessories and things like that and then also there's a table here. That's really handy that a friend borrowed me the table. So overall, as you can see, I have quite a lot of stock. Um, because I've been the rep for so long time and I always stock up when it's nice price for something because I know that my customers love the bargain as well. Especially if there's something that they always use, such as, for example, the Wonderlash mascaras, which are like my super favorites. And everybody's, so whenever it's half price, I always stock up on these ones. And then, of course, creams and everything. And you know, I really find that the car boot sale really, really helps to get the name out there as well. Because some people still, I don't know how it's happened, but some people still haven't heard of Oriflame. And it is number one cosmetics brand in Europe by the sales. So that talks for itself, but somehow in Ireland and UK, there's still many people that haven't heard of it, even though it's household name in most European countries. But yeah, I really like Garboot sales. Um, they are great buzz. There's you meet so many people and you always always see somebody that you know that you haven't seen for like ages and whose no phone number you don't have or anything like that because maybe they weren't best of friends for you but they were like former workmates or something and you always find somebody to catch up with and everything like that as well so it's really kind of social in the same time and I don't know I just I just like people I like talking to people and as you probably know, you know, I, I like socializing, so that's another form of socializing and it makes some money, so that's always handy as well. Can't, can't really compete with that. So if you're ever like short of money or something, then you should really think about doing like uh, what you would call in the States probably garage sale or yard sale or I don't know, or maybe you call it something else as well. But yeah, in Ireland here and in UK, we would call them car boot sales and this is really like i'm selling all the new stock i'm selling the stock from my uh, business uh, because i always stock up when it's nice price plus it's good to get the name out there but people are selling all sorts of things so it's always good to root around at your home and see what you have maybe there's something that your tra your trash is someone else's treasure and you can make a few bucks with it as i say people are selling all sorts people are selling uh, clothes used clothes and they're very popular actually because people like to buy something new and there's plenty of that here there's a lot of people selling clothes there's a lot of people selling arts and things like that um, all sorts of used antiques there's a vast variety of things there's also people that are selling plants and things like that there's a cheaper if you're getting hungry you can get chips and burgers or you can get ice cream so yeah loads of things loads of things and sometimes you can pick up real treasures something like that for example look at this lamp isn't this just so gorgeous Oh yeah, also when you're like lucky you can find something like collectibles or some kind of antiques that you're really interested in from the car boot sales and I really like I don't have time to look around when I'm selling because I'm alone here and I don't want to come back to having no stock left because somebody's walked away with them but um, on the 
days when I might not be doing the selling, I still like to look around at the car boot sales because, like, as I say, you never know what you find. Half of the times you're coming away with nothing and half of the times you're finding like real treasures and I really like to find, you know, like old posters and things like that or you can root through like DVDs and CDs and people are usually giving them away for like a euro each or two euro each or even less, depends on, depends on DVDs and everything and CDs. So you can really find great treasures as well in the same time and uh, it's also, you know, you don't go to the usual shop in, around here and uh, bargain but you can bargain here so if you're the person that likes to bargain then it's always great to come for a car boot sale for that as well so yeah just a little chat about what I was up to today and and about the car boot sales and all that like I'm normally Oriflame's uh, rep as well so that's why I have so much stock um, but yeah I'm sometimes thinking of uh, kind of branching out and doing something else on the car boot sales as well but I only do a car boot sale like once a week so there's not <clears throat> really it's not really my full-time thing or it's not really something that I, I do that much you know so I guess that I just stick on the things that I'm doing the best and knowing the best thanks for watching and talk to you soon bye